going on everybody welcome back to the channel Krenak, Krenak Gaming here and today we're going to take a look at the KV-1B this my friends is a monster now before we get started I'm just going to say I did not like this vehicle I did not think that this was a very good vehicle in terms of the play style because I just don't I still don't like the play style it's in my opinion it's a little too slow and at this BR at 4.0 you have a lot of vehicles on the American side and on the Russian side that can outflank this vehicle, that can get around it, and unless you are a new player, most players know how to counter the KV-1B or the KV-1 period because of the armor. Does that make this a bad vehicle? No, because in a good player's hands, this is a very good vehicle. And I'm not going to say my mind is completely changed. I'm about, I'm not quite at 180 yet. I'm more or less about at 90 degrees there. And it's because of Bombzilla. We were going to do a video. We actually recorded a video on premium vehicles must-haves for both the German and the American tree. I was not able to get that video out because I had sound issues. But this was one of the vehicles we talked about. And he recommended this video. Or I'm sorry, this vehicle. He recommended the KV-1B. I said no. This is, even though it's a good vehicle, it's it's got good armor. It's got a great gun at 4.0. Okay, probably one of the best guns at 4.0. The Quick 39, I think is what it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry, the Quick 40. Okay, 75 millimeter. Very, very good gun at 4.0. Awesome armor at 4.0. This vehicle is very tough to take down. But I thought that for a newer player, someone getting into the game... That this might not be the vehicle that they need to, to get into because it teaches you the wrong habits. If you go straight down the German tree, then okay, I can see the point of this being a good... Because almost every single German tank, the mediums and the heavies that come after this vehicle starting at about 5.3 with the Tigers, <clears throat> they have great armor. Okay, and this vehicle, if you angle... It's almost indestructible at 4.7, okay? But I think that that teaches bad habits, especially for the German players. Because you're invincible to a certain extent, and you have a great gun that will go through almost anything. Anything at this BR, okay? You're going to have a few problems with Churchills, but if you know where to shoot them, how to cripple them then you can slowly take out a Churchill, especially if he himself doesn't really know how to play a Churchill, okay? And that was my reasoning for saying that this is just not a good vehicle for new players and the fact that I didn't like the vehicle because of its play style. It's got a very slow turret traverse. It's not the fastest vehicle in, in the, on, the, uh, on the German tree at this BR range, okay? Not only that, but when you come against M4s, from the U.S. tree, you got the M10, which of course is a very slow turret traverse, but it's it's a decently mobile vehicle in terms of just its agility outside of its its gun handling. Okay, and it has a 76 millimeter. You have the M18s that you can come against, which should not have too much of a problem with this vehicle. You have the M4A1, I believe. Let's look at the American tree really quickly. Uh, I'm sorry, you have the M yeah the M4A176, which Good, good vehicle at 4.7, which also shouldn't have a problem with this vehicle at 4.7. So, in my opinion, I thought you have a you have an okay reload rate at 9.5 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry, you have an okay reload rate at 7.1. Comparatively speaking to the other, to, it's very competitive when you talk about the Americans, right? You have a very, very slow turret traverse. The gun, the tank speed itself is it's okay. And so I was like, well. Despite the fact that it's got all this good armor and a good gun, in my opinion, overall, it's still outclassed by some of the American vehicles at that BR rating, right? Because you're still going to face this guy right here. The one that, you look, that you're looking at, the M4A3, you can face this guy. And he can, put, he can put a round right through you. The M4A2, the T20, the M18 Black Cat, all of the, all of the M18s. And then you're going to come against this guy, which you're not going to worry too much about his 75 millimeter unless he's rocking APCR. But even then, if you angle, you should be okay, right? So, but then I, 
I was like, okay, no, nope, I don't recommend this vehicle. Blum was like, you know what? You're gonna play this vehicle. Let's take this vehicle out. And I bet you I can change your mind. So we took this vehicle out. And lo and behold, I ended up getting like, I think it was like nine or 10 kills in this vehicle. And Bum made a video of it. And it made me look like a dumb dumb because <laughs> I absolutely rocked in this vehicle. Now, we're gonna take this vehicle out. And we're gonna see if that was a fluke or if this is actually gonna change my mind. Okay, so again, like I said, at 4.7, you get really, really good armor. You get very good upper front plates. 75, I think you get this frontal plate and then you get this one right here. So, I mean, at this BR, very strong turret armor. And it's trolly as all get out. Trolly, what, 112 millimeters from the side. 112 millimeters from the side, okay? From the front, you have this portion right here, 117. Then you have this this one right here is 178 millimeters of effective thickness on this little portion right here. incredible now weak spots of course weak spots right here right there and you of course you have a weak spot here at the bottom of the where you can take out the transmission you still even though side shots will go right through sometimes you're going to get some very crazy bounces between this little piece of the of the hull right here and the tracks or they'll bounce within this area okay 75 quick 40 i think it, did i say quick 40 yes the quick 40 it will handle anything that you come across the only thing you're really going to have a problem with like i said are churchills so 4.7 solid solid vehicle let's take it out and let's see if it was a fluke bomb i'm telling you it was a fluke that's not that's all i'm gonna say i'm just i'm I'm, at, I'm not at a one, complete 180 at this vehicle yet. Alright, let's get it. Oh, there he is. Oh, come on. First shot, really? Jeez. Of course. Let's just repair 25 seconds oh my gosh this game sometimes is like freaking cannon barrels are us we still trying for it Alright, we're in business now. As long as they don't hit my cannon barrel again, we should be okay. Alright. M22. Alright. Alright, another down. Alright. Somebody just pulled out in the street. There's an M22. M22 to get behind me. Alright, four down. Where's that M4 right here? Is that the same one? I just okay, yeah, he's dead. Where's that M? Okay, they're pushing A. He didn't see me though, so we still got a little bit of a. Is like screw it, I'm out. All right, engines on fire on the M22. All right, there we go. Ah, oh boy. All right, M681 down. Not worried about that in two a 
five or whatever that thing is. Doesn't get behind me. There is an M4. He quite possibly is dead. Alright, come on, come on, come on, let's move. Alright, we're gonna push. See if we can help our teammates over here. Reaches out. All right. There we go. Let's keep pushing. Dead. All right, he's dead. All right, let's go get B. Still have a lot of players left, and they're taking C. Hold right here for a second while we take C. Okay, that M4 is dead. Alright, we got guys pushing their spawn, so we're gonna push out a little bit. Look over at C. I think the guy I don't see is dead though. I would guess so. Still there. I don't know who he's firing at. I can't see the guy. I see though, he's. Oh, yeah, he's back there a little bit. 
Alright, who's this T-34 firing at? Oh, Alright. Felt in. I hear something, I don't see him. Alright. T-34. I got his engine. Alright, somebody else just hit me from somewhere. Oh boy, okay. AMX. Oh yeah. Alright, gonna try to take care of the M10 first. down. Oh, I'm red now. I'm done for. Oh, it's broken. I need some help, people, please. Alright, AMX down. There we go. Oh, back up, back up, back up. KV-1, M4. Alright, let's take care of the KV-1 first. Uh, okay. Alright. M4 down. Let's take care of the KV-1. KV, driver's down. Oh, no way. Come on, come on. Ah. Alright, that KV's down for a second. Goodness. This is feels like the Alamo, man. What the heck? Oh, man. There we go. Finally. Oof. So. Two games. 13 kills. Not too bad. I was probably wrong. So if you have the Golden Lions or Golden Eagles or whatever they're called. This vehicle's on sale. Or even if it's not on sale. It's, it's a good pickup. It's a good pickup. See you next time.